Hey guys, welcome back to another Cajun Toy Review. And today we're going to be looking at the Marvel Legends series, Spider-Man Homecoming, The Vulture. Now this is a figure that I was really excited about because I have the original build figure and I thought he was great. He was one of the more cool original build figures. Uh, the original OG build the wings before we got uh, Captain America. And um, I thought it was a good figure. Uh, but this, they stepped it up. It has a great brand new paint job. He actually comes with weapons this time. Uh, and I think it looks really dope. Um, I love the blue. So we're going to take a look at this figure. And we'll compare him with the other one. And maybe even break out some of the other vultures and have a vulture party. But uh, let's dive into it, guys. So this figure is a Target exclusive. You can probably find it now. Uh, I know it was for pre-order. But a lot of places started popping up. I found mine in store. And we got that nice open package in the front. We can see our vulture in there with his new weapons. Uh, I think this is part for his mask. And we can see them bright blue wings uh, with the fans on it and stuff like that. Looking freaking awesome. Uh, I'm excited. On this side, we have uh, some art for the vulture. And that just looks badass. I love them green eyes. Looks really, really cool. Uh, we can see those new feet on there with them talons and stuff like that. Yeah, looking awesome, guys. They're really, really cool. On this side, repeat image of that again. On the back, we have a bigger shot of that, and that looks really good. Those wings almost look feathered right there. That looks really, really cool art on that. And uh, we got a picture of the uh, full figure with the wingspan. I don't know if it comes with the original stand like the, uh, the builder figure did, so we'll see. Uh, with an impressive flying apparatus, Adrian Toome soars through the skies to threaten Spider-Man. And there it is in a couple different languages if you want. Um, Nothing else, spider logo on the top. UPC on the bottom, which will be in the shots for you guys at the end if you need it to find it uh, at your local Target. But that's it. Let's go ahead and open up the Vulture and check them out. All right, so we're looking at our new Vulture from Homecoming out of the box. And damn, bro, this is nice. I, I'm very blown away on how much I like this. And I love the original Builder figure. I thought it was really, really cool. And I personally, I'm not a big fan of when they re-release the build of figures as a deluxe if if it's not anything special or anything big. So they kind of did it with Juggernaut and Colossus, and they gave him a new head, and that was cool. Um, they did it with Monster Venom, and they gave him a new paint job, stuff like that, a little bit more accurate. And that was all right, but that wasn't worth, it was a hard double dip for that. This is totally worth it, my guys. I mean, this figure right here, um, the wings are pretty much the same. Uh, on paint and everything else we get those blue turbines on there which look really really awesome uh, but it's the vulture figure himself uh, the new accessories with the arms and like the blasters or whatever the weapons he has in his hands and stuff like that is fantastic that alone is worth it but uh, the new paint job man like I am just in love with this new paint job these new legs and sculpt on this figure is just bad ass and uh if you had it already i think it's worth it if you didn't get them before and you were kind of one of them this is a a freaking a must get like uh if you're a fan of the mcu vulture uh you know the only thing that this figure does not have is a michael keaton head sculpt and uh you know there's 3d print ones on there and stuff like that but that's a whole different thing but for what you get in this package um for the price it is if you didn't have it it's a damn good figure uh it's huge wingspan i can't even open the wings i can open them wide but i can't open them fully without rubbing the wall um for the sake of the video but um yeah man guys this is freaking awesome so uh what we're gonna do is gonna, gonna uh, take them off this thing and then we'll compare the figures uh in the wings and stuff like that and then we'll kind of do them side by side but uh i'm telling you guys now you can stop the video if you're on the fence and get it it's worth it and looking at our two vultures side by side, we have the new Target exclusive and we have the original uh, builder figure from Homecoming. And they are uh, different in a lot of ways, um, especially when it comes to paint. So while this one, the original Homecoming one, is pretty much movie accurate, that's what he looks like in the film uh, with that dark brown jacket and that uh, very kind of darker collar and stuff like that, including with the eyes. Um, that is much more accurate to the film while this one is much more brighter um, It's got new uh, pieces and stuff like that with new legs and everything and stuff like that. It's a, it's a different take on it um, It looks more like some of the concept art and stuff that we saw so 
it really depends on that aesthetic and stuff like that. So for paint uh, wise and stuff like that, I kind of like the original more uh, on the paint. Now uh, for the new sculpt and the new accessories and stuff like that, this one wins hands down. So I'm, I'm torn a bit and stuff like that. And I might try to, I know I can put these arms easily. These accessories pop right off. I could put it on that ultra right there. Uh, but these new legs and stuff are, are really, really nice. And uh, it wouldn't match. The, the metal wouldn't match. So, um, oh man, it's a little, it's a little hard. So uh, we'll take a look at We'll take both the figures off their stands and we'll look at them and stuff like that. And you guys can be the judge yourself. But most definitely, let me know in the comments what you think. So let's take off our MCU Vulture. Get off of there. Swings aside, and then we'll get our new vulture off. And there's a plane flying over my head, just this right time. All right, so I guess that was a good time for that to happen. All right, so like I was saying, we have a new sculpt on these legs. So this new one has this much more brighter, uh, shiny metallic metal coming all the way down it's very clean very nice and stuff like that uh it also goes on his back it's repainted with that with that very very shiny uh silver We've got some gold accents on there and stuff like that looks really really good uh while the original one is this very kind of worn uh dull metal that actually has a, quite a bit of marbling in it uh at different spots um you know really when it comes down to the bottom half i i love this one by far uh this new one is mostly the top just the, the older jacket and stuff like that uh now the heads are new so uh while this new one actually you can take this visor off and you get that pretty menacing looking face right there and that just clips on like so there you go um and it's a new helmet and stuff like that. i've got a new sculpt with the screen on the side that kind of visor we got this one airline coming around the front to the back and that actually looks really good versus the original where it had the two hoses, the two smaller hoses that kind of went around and see, you can see it's a different sculpt. Uh, and the original head did have a bit of marbling on it, especially on the top. Uh, I do like that new black helmet a lot. That looks really good. It looks very much like a flight helmet. Uh, so I think if I took the visor off the old one, I would like it even less because the eyes are, are a little bit too big in comparison to the head. I do like the black, the green, smaller beady eyes and stuff. So it really just comes down, for me, is the coat. Um, and I don't know, this is, I wish they had a little bit of a wash on this one. This is the only thing. So, um, but everything else wise, like this one has new legs. They're pinless, new sculpt. You can see like it's completely sculpted. Instead of it being like robot chicken legs like this, we actually have boots and stuff like that. And that actually looks a lot more realistic uh for what it is versus this where it looks like he had cybernetic <laughs> legs attached to the bottom of his feet so this actually looks like there could be a man's feet in there or legs versus this um and it also looks like it's more like braces that's attached and stuff like that um so that really depends but here's the here's the draw this is what's going to make you get this figure if you hadn't got it already so let's go ahead and pop off these so we have these kind of uh, blaster energy projector effects or whatever you want to call them uh, and then we have these arm kind of guards kind of brace things and you just kind of pop off the fist and then this just attaches so you have to take that off and then just put the hand back in there but yeah it's just a really cool kind of cybernetic kind of augment brace that goes onto his arm and it looks like it powers or goes exactly with this and it looks freaking awesome so that is a big selling point and of course it matches the metal on the legs and everything else stuff like that so it makes the figure look a lot better stand out and stuff like that so um i think overall this figure with all the new sculpt and the, the new arm things stuff like that that new helmet by far trumps the old one even though it's more movie accurate this one 
is more visually pleasing to me. Um, so lastly, we'll just look at the wings. They are basically the same. The newer one has a more vibrant green. It's a little bit brighter. Oops. Try to get them both in my hands for you. So you can kind of see they both kind of have the same blue and purple. This one's a lot brighter and shinier. Uh, but everything else is kind of the same. The old one had a little bit more accents of black on the uh, middle piece. Uh, but the new ones are much brighter. I do love the blue turbines. They look really awesome and stuff like that. So um, front, everything else is exactly the same. You know, it's the exact same sculpt and everything else. The stands are the same. So that is really comes down to that. And it's pretty small. Um, when it comes to the wings, but the figures are where the big difference is. And I think at the end of the day, this one looks more like General Hawk. I don't know, it just, this one it comes out on top. So what do you guys think? What is your opinion on this? And stuff like that? Is this a figure you're going to get? Do you have the original? Or are you going to double dip? Um, or are you glad that they get released and you're definitely going to get this? I think it's a cool figure. I just wish we got a Michael Keaton head. I understand why we don't, because that is expensive. But uh, I'm glad this figure came out, and I'm glad I double dipped. So, if you like this video, if it helped you or anything like that, leave us a like. Check out other content. Consider subscribing, and uh, you know, check out new videos coming out all the time. We started doing some shorts. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. It's kind of fun. Uh, I'm definitely gonna do more of those. It's gonna help get real, uh, do a little quick videos because I have so many old figures, and I can do something short with that and kind of still maybe review them down the line. So, if you like them, put a like or. Uh, you know, you can even request one or something like that you want to see. I might have it. So anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.